There are particular structural conditions for which backbending is helpful. There's one that's just a simple postural alignment condition for which backbending is very helpful. And what do you think that might be? Kyphosis. Schlumpy posture. So backbending is, is very, everyone just said, backbending is a very, very useful tool for mitigating that. And you know, over time, this is kind of my little observation working with people of all ages, um, is that over time we sort of tend to crawl back toward the nature from whence we came. <laughs> so sort of everything sort of, you know, have you seen really old uh, people or even moderately old people who don't stretch yet? So, like that. So, there's a certain amount of backbending, even if you're not this way now, <laughs> you will be if you don't do a certain amount of just postural maintenance. So, it's important for postural maintenance when you're working with elderly, it's important to do some very gentle backbending um, just to keep, you know, keep posture. Uh, when people get very elderly also and they start to lose their posture even more, it actually throws their balance off. And equilibrium is really, really important for the elderly because when they fall and break face, they don't, bones don't heal as readily. Um, and so a bad posture, extreme bad posture, can actually cause people to be less stable on their feet. And so it's useful as you get older. So that condition of increased kyphosis, schlumpy posture, is very benefited by back bending. And that can be congenital, you know, like if you look at your family, you might notice that everybody in your family, even when they were 20 years old and had beehive hairdos and poodle skirts, like, still they had schlumpy posture. There's that schlumpy posture that's genetic. And then there's acquired, I sit at a computer all day, or I breastfeed babies all day, or whatever it is that you're doing that's acquired schlumpy posture. And backbending is useful for all of you. Acquired slumpy posture, you will see much more rapid transformation of the posture through backbending. The congenital kind, it's like everybody in your family has it, you know, it's going to be moderate gains on that one or, or basic maintenance. You're not going to see a whole lot of transformation always with that. But it's beneficial anyway because of the strengthening aspect. And when we're talking about about posture, there's you know the stretching parts of the back bend, you know, like the kind of back bend that stretches the front of the body is very useful. Um, but for all conditions, strengthening the back is useful. For all conditions, strengthening the back is useful. And for the genetic schlumpy posture person, you know, the strengthening is going to be the main tool. Because the bones can be shaped in such a way that they're just not going to move into a flat back position. Or the anterior longitudinal ligament that runs up and down the front of the spine can be short, and that means that they're never going to be able to do big, big back bends. But the strengthening of the muscles that support the spine is the thing that's going to keep them from losing even more of their posture over time. That's important. Prone back bending, lying on the belly and you know, lifting something you know, chest or chest and one arm, both arms, legs, whatever it is, is, should be like dental floss for you guys. It's like an everyday maintenance kind of a practice. Prone back bending is probably one of the most important just basic maintenance categories of postures for healthy spine. 